Hi, this is Amanda Weber with Instructional Technology, and we're going to help show you how to log into Imagine Math on a desktop. Okay, so we're going to start on an ECSD page. Across the top, we're going to go to the Parents and Students tab. We're going to come over here to Important Links, and we're going to click on Class Link. Right here is where your student will sign in. It'll take them to the ECSD screen here, and this is where they will put their ID number in and their password. If they're kindergarten through fourth grade, their password is their ID number again. If they're fifth grade through 12th grade, their original uh, password was their eight digit birthday, but then they were prompted to choose their own password after that. So they'd have to put in their password there. Okay, so once they put in their ID number and their password, they're gonna click sign in. Then it's going to load their apps. Okay, there's two Imagine Math options. Okay, the blue one is the is the main. I mean, the blue one. The orange one is the main Imagine Math right here. And so when they click there, it will pull their um, login information straight from their account and automatically log them in. There's a start button right here where they'll start their lesson. It shows you right here across the bottom what part they're at. So there's a pre-quiz, a warm-up, guided learning, practice, and a post-quiz for each lesson that they do. If they haven't started at all, there's probably a benchmark um, test that they'll have to take. And so they'll complete that part first. And then based on what they do well on and what they need to work on, it will build a program for them. Okay. So they'll just hit start and go in and start their lessons. Okay. I'm going to close this tab and we're going to come back to our class link page. Now we're going to look at the other function, the Imagine Math Facts. Okay, when you click here, it's going to again automatically pull their login information and start up Math Facts. And what this one is, it's a um, game version that lets them go through and practice their Math Facts. So when they click on Addition, Subtraction, Multiplication, Division, whichever one they're instructed to click on, and click the Play mode, it'll start their game. Okay, this little button right here will let it go full screen. They'll pick their pretest area, so pick whichever grade level the student is in. And it'll go through and give them a tutorial mode of how to use the keyboard and how to um, use their character and go through to answer the questions. Okay, so just follow the on-screen instructions and that'll show you how to get your character going through. It'll pop up, it's going then to practice using the keyboard and how to get those numbers in. Okay. And so once they go through this, which is very basic at first, and then it gets them into the actual fact practice that they'll be doing. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And that covers our two Imagine fact, Math Facts and Imagine Math programs that we have. Um, if you are having issues with it freezing up or um, you can get in, especially I think we're having it with the math blueprint for the, um, the younger grades. Um, we discussed it with the Imagine Math Fact people and they recommend using the Chrome browser. So if you're not using Chrome, um, download the Chrome browser and log in through ClassLink and click on the links that way and see if that helps keep your program from freezing up. As always, communicate with your teacher if you're having any questions or issues. And we also have our help desk number 456-0013 so that you can get in touch with us if you're having any issues. Thank you and have a great day.